Hello and welcome. In this video I'll be showing you how to download and run a v extremely basic chatbot that I recently made. It took me about two, three days to make it, so it's really basic. But anyways, let's get started. First, if you you need to make sure that your computer has Lua installed. Now, my computer does have Lua installed. However, assuming that your computer does not have Lua installed, I will show you how to get it. And to get it, you would go to this URL, which will be in the description of the video. And you would click this link here. And then you click that download arrow there. It'll download. Now, I'm using Microsoft Edge for my internet browser however and so I do know that on Google Chrome it's similar however if for some reason you're using Internet Explorer it'll probably be different and other internet browsers will also probably be different and no one's telling me that it's an okay file and it's okay to run and it will run eventually Yep, here we go. Welcome to the Lua Setup Wizard. You would just read through this and agree to it. Now, I already have Lua installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue to run this set this installer. However, if you do not have it installed, you would just continue running through it. And I do know that at one point it asks you if you want to install the Site I I D E S C I T E is the name is how it's spelled, and personally I chose not to install that because I use Notepad plus plus. But if you do ever want to edit your Lua files, that I D E is pretty useful. However, like I said, I use Notepad plus plus. However, Site does have the advantage where you can run the file from within the develop from within the file editor. But I find Notepad++ to be better. Now, once you have Lua installed, you then go to download the actual thing. Okay, I just got interrupted right there, but... To download the actual chatbot, you would copy this URL from the description of the video. And, again, I'm using Microsoft Edge for my browser, but other browsers will probably be different. So once you come to this page, you would hit, oh dear, hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you hit that download button and you hit download as zip. And you don't have to sign in if you don't want to. It doesn't matter. And it should download essentially instantly. And you would click open. And it'll open the zip file. And I would create my own file on the desktop and name it SmartBot because that is the name of the chatbot even though it is probably it'd probably be more appropriate to call it dumbbot and so now you just drag over the files to select them just click and drag select them and just click one and drag it over and it'll drag both of them into that folder right there close all this out and as long as you have Lua installed correctly this should have the icon here should be the Lua icon for Lua files and it should have the type Lua script file there. You just double click it and it'll open it up. And there you go. It's done. And you can talk to it all you want. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. And over time, as you talk to the thing, it'll save all your, of your conversations in here. I'll open up a notepad. It's really all in one line due to the way the standalone Lua works with interacting with files. And if this file were to ever, like, if you were to, if you, you can edit this file if you want, however, I really don't recommend it because it's very easy to break it. And I tried to set up the 
chatbot to detect if the file has been broken and if so it will try and just reset it back to the default memory state the way which is how it started at the very beginning before I started testing it however it's not a perfect system so if you break it in a certain way it won't realize that it's broken and the thing will just crash however if that happens you can just delete it completely and it'll work fine it will just have to start over from scratch however if you like you can copy it and send it to me and I can try and repair it for you but I cannot guarantee that I will t I, I, I will not guarantee that I will take the time to do it so just to prevent as many issues as possible just leave this file alone however if you have a friend who has the chatbot installed and they want to have your setup and chat with the and chat with your chatbot essentially you can copy this file and send it to them because if you want you can just set up a new folder and just copy the files over oh dear and it'll still work fine so you can share your memory folder with anyone you anyone you want as long as it's using the same smart bot file and so that's about it the contents of this file right here will be in the description with labels on them see you in the next one if I can find the frickin